Yo, Aguan, hope you're having a good day, but if not, it's about to get better because in this video, I'm showing you how to mix your kicks with your 808. So yeah, stick around. This is really gonna help you out. If you don't know who I am, I'm Jay Carter Ray from jcarterray.com, teaching you how to be better at music, YouTube marketing, and online business. This is the number one channel for music musicians and creatives that don't want to be starving artists. So if that's you, this is the place to be. Uh, if you are an artist, you can get 10 free beats from my website and links in the description down below, by the way. But let's get into this. This is a beat that I made that I cooked up a little bit earlier. <laughs> uh, let me quickly play it for you so you can kind of hear the context of what would, what's going on here. And then I'm just gonna bring up the 808 and oh, I'm gonna solo the 808 and kicks so you can hear what's going on there. So let's play the beat. Okay, that, that should be enough, that should be enough. I don't wanna waste your time. The beat in this video will be linked down below so you can go listen to that to your heart's content. But let's bring over the mixer, good mixer old friend. Now, we're gonna solo the kick and the 808 and I'm gonna sh show you what's going on here with the kick and the 808. So first up with the kick, we've got an EQ on that cutting out some of the high ends and boosting around 1 117 hertz and let's quickly loop the chorus here so we can see what's going on here and let's bring up that eq again and you can see that a lot of the energy is around 1117 hertz. Now more of it is around 56 hertz, but we need that space for the 808. So we've got like a little bit of a low cut around here, but it's just basic EQ and cutting off the high ends, doing a little bit of, you know, boost. well actually no, this isn't really cut, but we've boosted around 1117. I think this is a little bit low. And then we've got a fruity peak controller. Now this is a method that I learned from Lifestyle Did It, great YouTube channel, you should definitely check it out. And basically what you wanna do is you wanna add a fruity peak controller to your kick. So I'll show you how that's done. You just add it there. And you don't need to do anything to that peak controller. You can actually just turn it off. But what this peak controller does is it's going to take the information every time the kick hits. So every time that kick hits, the peak controller is getting that information. And then you can go to the 808, yeah? Let's turn off sound good eyes for, for now. And we can go to the parametric EQ, which I've just cut out. Basically, most of the high ends we've cut to about, where is this, 716. And what we've done here is we've linked this band to the peak controller. So every time the peak controller hits, we lose some frequency, or well, there's a cut in the frequencies around 140 hertz. So listen up. Now we could move this to 117 and do that. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. And I'm also gonna show you how you can just use EQing in order to make space for your kicks and 808s. Now, I don't suggest you sidechain. That's what a lot of people um, will teach you in terms of you know your kicks and your bass. Like if you're making an EDM song or, or a pop song, then sidechaining can really work really, really well. But in terms of with your 808s and kicks, I, I tend to not do that. <laughs> so I wouldn't suggest that. So let me show you how to do this. Basically, you wanna you wanna find one of these bands. So we'll have 
this band. But f- first of all, you need to find the right frequency on your kick in it. So we already done that. We noted that it was 117. That was the place that we was going to boost. And then we go to our 808. And then we can basically drag a band to 117. I'm not going to use this one because that's the one that we're already using. So we could get this band and then basically move that so you can see which one is actually popping up. It's this one over here. And then you want to link this to a controller. And here, you can pick the controller that you've got. Now, it will be um, peak controller on the kick. And you set this to peak control peak. Now, we've got two peak controllers because we've added two. But generally, you'll have one because you'll add one. And then over here, we want to click this and change this to inverted. And then you want to change this number to 0 0.5. What this does is it basically means every time that the peak comes through, we're gonna go to half the normal amount. So it's gonna bring the volume down. And then you can apply smoothing and check out how long you want it to take to basically go down. This is basically, you know, your release. It's smoothing the envelope time as it says up there. So let's see what kind of effects we get from actually doing this. So. Need to press play <laughs> all right we've got to accept it first but we can always link to controller again and then we can continue using it but we need to press play first yeah we should move this so you can actually see there you go so you see it moving every time the kick hits that's what you want and you can make the cue smaller and larger depending on what you're going for and you can also make it take longer or be quicker i don't know if this is really applying the difference right about now i mean this is making it take longer for the envelope to um, close I believe so look at how long it's taking to pump back up compared to this it goes back up really really quick so that's that you basically want to move this around until you get the desired sound you want and that's how you set up an EQ sidechain so that you only take out specific frequencies and it allows the kick to come through. Now, there's also something else you can do. You can basically, well, I also add a sound goodizer to my 808, so just give it a little bit more thump. And I just always use the A preset and just add this amount. I haven't really checked my sound goodizer settings in ages but it just it just adds a little bit more beefiness to the 808 so the second method that you can use is basically just using eq to cut out the different frequencies so what we could do is i'm going to use a neutron 3 equalizer here because neutron 3 has a great feature that allows you to basically um see what's going on with two different tracks so we'll add a neutron three equalizer over here as well and what we'll do is we'll name this 808 and then we'll just use this one and basically Now we can, well basically we're seeing the um, kick EQ here, but we can also see the 808 by bringing up the 808. Um, I believe this is, there we go. I think that's it, maybe it's that. Nah, it seems to be this. 
Okay, I should have named that better. Also, our audio settings is not trying to take this because there's too much going on. Let's turn off our master track so everything's going to sound a little bit lower now. But we've turned off ozone. So here we can see where our kick is hitting and the this line, the orange line, is where the 808 is hitting. So... I think the, syn the synchronicity is a bit off because we've got a bunch of effects on as well. And we can also basically see what's being masked. If we turn this sensitivity up, we'll see the mask in here. So we'll see our problem frequencies where we need to create some sort of space between these two instruments, the kick and the 808. We could name this kick as well. And you can do this with any basic EQ, but it just takes a little bit longer. You just have to look at two EQs. Here we can see both instruments in the one EQ. And what you wanna do is we can set up an inverse link here, which means whatever we set up over here will happen in the, like the opposite will happen on the other track. So if we take a, well, we don't want to do a low cut. Let's actually bring this over here. So if we take a dip around 60, we also get a boost around 60. So we don't want to make it too pronounced there. So now you should be able to hear the kick coming through a little bit more. If we bypass the EQs, to buy person. We probably want to take a bit more actually but what I'd suggest you do is actually boost the kick and take some out of the 808 because we want the kick to come through so we're going to boost around we'll just do 117 again and we'll just take a cut out of there now you hear the kick coming through a whole lot more listen to before And listen with the EQ. Generally, you just want to create space and, and do that sort of stuff. So you, you have a space where the kick can come through and a space where the 808 is dipping. And you, as I said, you can do that with just two normal EQs but with the Neutron EQ it just makes it a little bit easier a little bit more convenient so we'll put all this back on but I prefer honestly the EQ dipping thing because then it's dynamic and the 808 can still have its full frequency range when it's playing by itself and the kick is not about. So in terms of leveling, in terms of mixing, I highly suggest you watch my video on how to mix your beats, but generally I want the 808 and kick to hit at minus 60 B when I'm mixing, maximum. So here it's been taken down a little bit because after mixing and then mastering, it was, I think it was distorting, so I brought it down. But when I start my mixing, I'll have it at minus six dB. And usually I'll start with the kick at minus six and then I'll bring the 808 up and then I'll bring the kick down depending on what sound I'm trying to go for and have both of these instruments hitting at six together in the master track and then I'll mix everything around it. So I suggest you do the same
and that is how you mix your kicks with your 808 so i hope this video helps you out gave you a few different ways to go about it so that you're never stuck when you're when it's time to mix the kick in the 808s you can find a way to get it done if you want to speed up your mixing at least 10 times then you'll be super interested in my fl studio templates they will be linked in the description down below or you can go to jcarteray.com forward slash fl templates these templates already come set up with the kick and 808 mixed together so you'll get the eq sidechain without having to you know add the peak controller and do all that sort of stuff yourself so if you want to save some time this will definitely help you out and it will help make all of your beats half mixed before you even get to the mixing process so you won't have to spend as long mixing your beats so if that sounds interesting click on that link download the template and save yourself some time in the next video you'll learn more about music youtube marketing or online business but leave your questions and videos that you want me to make in the comments down below don't forget to do that i do read the comments and i'll see you in the next video peace out